What is up guys, it's Josh here, and today I am bringing you a Hunger Games gameplay commentary for your viewing pleasure, of course. Uh, today I was playing with the Snail Kit, and uh, it, this is quite a fun kit. People say it's op, and um, I didn't think so, but I did go up against the Snail, and it is a tad op, mainly just because you can't really um, break their combos since you're going really slowly. But anyways, here we're getting uh, just enough stew to give us one hot bar that'll finish us off. For this fight, this guy actually didn't have a sword, and our slowness helped us quite a bit there because uh, he could not run away. So that's one benefit to this kit. This guy, as well, tries to run away, and uh, I actually catch up to him because of the slowness. I launch him all the way onto this tree, and um, I was wondering where he went here. Uh, but he actually fell off the tree and died, as you can see his compass was laying there. So here we're continuing to uh, track and play offensively, of course, because this is an offensive kit. This guy gets slowed down, and he didn't even have a sword either, and he just disappears. It actually didn't say he died in the chat, which was kind of strange, but uh, I didn't see him for the rest of the game, so uh, he was out of my hair for this game. So, once again, continuing tracking. This guy was underground, so I had to make a pick right here uh, to go down to him. Uh, he sees me, so he'll be expecting me. So, uh, I go ahead and jump down and start hitting him. And luckily, he didn't have any stew, which is uh, definitely a pretty big issue. So, uh, I took him out pretty easily, and he had uh, 8 iron. So, I think he might have been x-ray hacking, but uh, benefited me. So I end up uh, getting a chest plate out of this, and it turns out there's a guy above me, so I actually make this little trap just spur of the moment, and he falls right into it and dies right there. So um, I don't know what he was thinking was going to happen, but he, he had tons of stew, he just didn't use it, I guess. But yeah, continuing our hunt here, now we're pretty well suited up with the chest plate. We're going to have an advantage over people, and that's going to protect us from some hearts, uh, luckily. And uh, once again, another guy underground. People are underground so much in Hunger Games. Uh, I actually fall right here. This was kind of like the trap that I did to the other guy, but I mine out of it quickly, and this guy didn't have any stew either way. Uh, so it didn't really matter. Uh, lots of people didn't have stew this game, so, um, guys, you need to have stew if you're going to win. You need to learn how to hotkey, especially. But, yeah, continuing the hunt, and there was this guy in the tower, and unfortunately, when he's that high, you can't get him off your compass without going up there, which is quite a pain in the ass. And I really did not want to go up there. I didn't have any water or a bucket to do MLG water, but I do end up killing him there really quickly. He was just trying to stack up. But, yeah, soon the feast is going to be announced, and um, I'm just running around trying to hunt people. That guy was not in the game. There's always been that glitch for the longest time. I don't know how they're going to fix it. Here, the feast platform was very isolated, and it was quite far away. And uh, I was just going to sit here and see if anyone came play uh, defensively at the feast. So I used my ninja guerrilla war tactics, which is just sit in a little divot between these two dirt blocks and wait for people to come but uh, luckily for me no one actually came to this feast and uh, you'll see that later only 45 seconds left 30 seconds left I was waiting for quite a long time but uh, I got the feast and this gave me full armor which I definitely needed two strength potions a bow and one arrow and I blow the feast up no competition at this feast here I'm just gotta clean out my inventory a bit and we continue on our way. So I throw down the strength potion because I think these people are teamed. And I kill that guy quite easily. He had stew, but uh, he didn't last too long. And this guy, uh, I take out right there. And he actually didn't have any stew either. Um, well, the other guy had stew, but that guy didn't have stew. And my th strength two just took him out. And another guy who wanted to come to the feast. They were a bit late, though. Uh, and I go in, he's a pretty good PvPer actually, and you'll see this fight gets pretty long and drawn out, but uh, yeah, I'm getting some good hits on him, here he goes to uh, refill, and I try to combo him, but he refills, and he's actually a scout, so he runs away, which was kind of annoying, 
but I splash him with Harming, which actually hits me as well, which was pretty stupid of me. I refill my stew because I know I'm going to have to fight this guy again, and he's pretty good at PvP. So here he's refilling, and I get a good combo on him. And we're just going back and forth and back and forth, basically. I was trying to strafe him, but uh, he was hitting me so much, I really couldn't do it that well. Here, I kind of get behind him a little bit. And I actually decide that I don't really want to deal with this guy, since he is such a good PvPer. Um, so I go for the Strength Potion and wait for my opening. Uh, and I get a pretty good uh, combo on him right there. I run away, splash the Strength, so I don't have to deal with this guy. Uh, and I kill him there. He tries to run away with his uh, speed, but that doesn't turn out too well for him. So here I get a water bucket, and in case I come across a tower, I can do MLG water. If you guys didn't know what MLG water is, um, it's where right before you hit the ground, you uh, if you're falling a long distance, you take your water bucket and you uh, right-click as fast as you can, so when you actually land... Uh, you land on the water bucket there. I actually that one arrow I got from the feast came in handy, and I hit a guy up uh, off on a tower, which was uh, pretty handy. One arrow, one kill. But yeah, uh, MLG water. It's a lot better and faster than just putting water under a tower. If you have the bucket, it's better just to go up there and uh, do MLG water. Hopefully, you'll see what I'm doing in another one of my gameplays. I got a few stored up where I do that. But uh, anyway, here I'm tracking. There's a guy underground, of course, because why would they be above ground? Everyone's underground these days, and I don't know why, uh, even after the feast, when they should really be going to the feast. But this guy was kind of a noob. He said uh, he was always the first to die, and this was like the furthest he's ever gotten, and he's in sixth place. I didn't know where he was, even though there were those suspicious cobblestone blocks there, and then I realized he's down there and I start hitting him uh, he dies right there he didn't have any stew but uh, yeah I, I type in he died like a man because uh, this guy wasn't that great at PvP and I told him to just face me because honestly that would make his odds a lot better at surviving anyway uh, but I'm heading towards Boteno and there are only like five people left at this point uh, the, I ran around quite a bit this game not a lot of people were playing offensively uh, and not a lot of people. I didn't get a lot of good fights, except for that one guy. But you'll see that uh, I come across another tower here, and I decide to stack up, because now I can MLG water if I need to. All you need is one water bucket. And I go up to this guy. He, he is a madman, but luckily I don't have any teammates. He splashes me with poison, which almost knocked me off. And this poison lasts a long time and is quite annoying. He's trying to defend himself, and he actually jumps off to try to hit me, but falls off to his death, which was pretty funny. Um, I just jump off into the water there. But yeah, yeah, I think he was trying to hit me, but he walked off instead of jumped at me, which was pretty funny. Uh, and here I found a... Uh, a witch hut, so I got the little clay pot of, out of it in case I needed some decorations, of course. Uh, this was the last guy in the game now, Senior Cucumber, and uh, he was quite far away as well. Lots of running around this game, and he was in a sky tower. Here I plant my uh, cactus for good measure and decide just to basically wait for uh, the pit at this point, so I'm putting water down in case he does stomp me or something and then all of a sudden he's behind me and I wasn't really sure how this happened I think he stomped down and just walked by me I'm not sure if he was hacking or not because I really couldn't get a good hit off on him and uh, here I run towards him and hit him and he didn't have any stew so luckily if he was hacking he didn't have stew and I was easy it was uh, an easy kill right there but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please drop a like and subscribe for more gameplays uh, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.